exercises. Dr. Ken here with you. This is number nine, introduction to three phase. So number eight, introduction to three phase AC circuits. So our first little problem is 8.1. At what speed must a six pole three phase alternator be driven to produce a frequency of 50 hertz. So this one you'll need to go to the textbook for, go to page 573 of uh, Electrical Principles by Phillips, edition two or three. And there you'll find the formula that uh, frequency equals NP divided by 120. So if we want to work out the, what the uh, speed is, N is speed, F is frequency, P is poles, and N equals F times 120 divided by P. So we simply take the N 50 multiplied by 6 equals, you need to spin the alternator at 1000 RPM to achieve our 50 Hertz frequency. Number two, um, an 8.2, a two pole alternator is driven at 3000 RPM, determine the supply frequency. Well, it's the same equation. We're just going to transpose it. So frequency is equal to MP divided by 120. So two times 3000 divided by 120. And um, nice and easy, we come out at 50 Hertz frequency. This one's a little bit more difficult. Um, a three-phase alternator produces a maximum voltage of 440 volts. Remember, it said maximum voltage. So we're not dealing with RMS values here. It's maximum voltage. Determine the instantaneous voltage when the A phase is at a rotational position of 90 degrees. So determine the position of all three phases in relation to A phase, say, at 90 degrees. So B phase is going to be at 90 minus 120, so it's going to be at minus 30. C phase is going to be at 90 degrees, minus 240, that's going to be 150. So we're going to use sine, remember sine gives us the instantaneous value, so A phase is V, little v, sine 90 multiplied by 440, because they gave us the maximum voltage, and it comes out at 440. B phase is just going to be the sine of minus 90 times 440, giving us minus 220 volts. And finally, C phase, sine minus 150 multiplied again by the max of 440, again, minus 220 volts. So that's the end of the three quick little exercises as part of our introduction to three phase.